Apple shares are trading lower today after they announced the earnings last night and it wasn't quite a surprise if you had listened to the uh, Qualcomm earnings call where they saw uh, chip sales for smartphones down 25 percent and uh, so it was this was pretty predictable Apple was trading lower by roughly seven dollars let's get into what occurred this quarter so the company reported earnings per share for the fiscal third quarter at a dollar and 26 cents which was above expectations of 119 Apple's revenue which came in higher than expected was down about 1% on a year-over-year basis showing decline for the third consecutive quarter as the company reported a decline in sales of its hardware let's get into the specifics so Apple's third quarter iPad revenue was 5.79 billion estimates were 6.33 billion so that was a miss Apple third quarter product revenue supposed to be 60.58 billion estimates were 60.67 billion that was a miss Apple third quarter iPhone revenue that was 39.67 billion estimates were 39.8 billion that was a miss wearables that was 8.28 billion versus 8.38 billion that was a miss however MacBook revenue of 6.84 beat estimates of 6.37 and services services is important the revenue came in at 21.21 billion estimates were 20.77 billion however services can't make up for the hardware although it's helping let's get into this article from CNBC Apple's most profitable line of business is making up for some over struggles so services in general higher profit margins than hardware um, offsetting hardware softness accelerating growth in services Apple's most profitable business that's the division that includes subscriptions uh, warranties license fees and Apple pay in June the quarter services grew over 8% to 21.2 billion in sales speeding up from 5.5% the prior period in the fiscal fourth quarter the unit will grow even faster Apple said Apple services business is critical for shareholders because it has stronger margins than hardware products and more predictable because of reoccurring billing and provides more ways for company to make money from installed base of over two billion devices gross margins for services in the June quarter was 70.5 percent almost double 35.4 percent margin for all of Apple's hardware products again the name of the game is uh, hardware um, it still remains their bread and butter however services is slowly creeping up there all right going back to the chart so what can we say is the down decline over do we anticipate more well you can see price are off the lows now this was an area that was crucial the most recent pivot low that price needed to hold if the uptrend is going to continue right now price is sideways you can say um, what's interesting to note is that price is below the 50 day moving average it's now below prior to earnings. It was below, close below the, we'll call this momentum moving averages. This is the 13 and 26 day moving average. Zooming out to the monthly chart, you can see it's been since March. We've had five 
since January. We've had seven straight green months with July being a doji candle indicating a topping. It's a big picture. So going back to the daily this breaks on the daily chart most recent pivot low let's go back up to the monthly be nice if price can come back to the one 180 line that's was all-time highs that'll be a nice area to go long You do have a daily buys level at 160. I don't anticipate price getting there unless we see a huge stock market crash. I do like Jim Cramer's target at 200. I think we can see that hit get hit later this year into next year. But this is the opportunity to buy on pullbacks. Apple's one of the greatest companies in the world and has been for many, many years. Let's see if price can get down to the 180. That would be a level to go long. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.